Hey guys, OFD checking in here. So today we're gonna do the opening outdoors. Somebody mentioned to me doing the doing the openings in my office gets a little old, it's kind of dark in there and stuff. So now we're outdoors. And actually an amazing thing about this point is we are just 14 miles north of a point called uh, Arroyo de Cantua. And that was actually the notorious, uh, or the hideout for the notorious uh, Western outlaw Joaquin Murrieta. Um, I think it was like 1853, he was chased down by a posse of state rangers in this area that I'm standing in here now, um, led by Captain Harry Love, and he was killed. Him and his, his group of outlaws were killed. Uh, they were notorious in this area for raiding mining camps and stopping stagecoach and robbing stagecoach operations and stuff like that. So. Just a little tiny bit of history about the area I'm getting to work in today. It's really awesome. But what this is really about is taking a look at this watch. This is the Orient Saturation Diver, a really, really cool watch. This was lent into the channel by Scott Stouffer over at Watches Galore. I will leave a link to his channel down below. And guys, I just, I, I want to thank um, one of my viewers down in Tasmania. He mentioned doing some outdoor openings, and I really kind of enjoy this. I hope you guys too. Please comment below if you do. And I'm going to try to kind of include a little bit of history in uh, where I do these outdoor openings and kind of like the Joaquin Murrieta thing. I thought that was kind of interesting. If you guys don't know about Joaquin Murrieta, after he was killed, uh, his head was put in a jar full of formaldehyde and traveled all around the western United States, um, kind of as a freak show thing. But anyways, that's totally off track. But let's turn the camera around and take a look at the Orient Saturation Diver. All right, thanks guys. <laughs> All right, hey guys, thank you for sticking around through the introduction. And uh, today we're gonna be taking a look at an Orient watch. Now, if you watch my channel, you know that I'm a fan of Orient watches and this is by no means a new brand to me. I've probably been uh, picking up Orients for at least the last four to five years and uh, just really enjoy the products they have to offer. I have a number of divers as well as a couple of Bambinos as you can see there in the background. But one of the watches, one of the dive watches that I've never really gotten a chance to take a look at is, um, and it's it's probably their most famous dive watch out there, and that is the Orient uh, 300 meter saturation diver. Now, as you guys know, um, Orient uh, does really good jobs in their fit and their finish of their watches, but this is kind of like almost on a completely different level, this watch here um, from, from other stuff that I've gotten in the past. This has been compared by a lot of people to almost like the Marine Master of the Orient lineup. This is a true ISO rated diver, rated to 300 meters. This is a gas safe diving watch, um, being the saturation diver. Um, this watch is an automatic watch. This is running the 40N5A movement, um, an in-house movement from Orient. This is a hacking and a hand windable movement. It has a 40 hour power reserve on this unit, uh, on the movement, and it's a 22 joule movement. Now, as you guys can see up here in the top between the one and two o'clock position, um, this watch actually has a power reserve indicator. It's almost up to 40 right now. I've been wearing this watch quite a bit, and so the power is up. So the model number, uh, the reference number, I should say, of this watch is SEL02003W0. And uh, that would be for the white dial version. I know they make a black dial version of this watch. And um, I think there's still a red version out there. There may be some other colors floating around out there that I'm not quite aware of, guys. So please forgive me for that. So this, uh, this watch does have a sapphire crystal on it here. This does have AR coating, so it kind of keeps the glare away. As you guys can see, it's not really that bad. This is a 120 click unidirectional bezel. It's a pretty stiff bezel, which I have found with some of my Orient watches, um, but it works. And you know, for a professional diving watch, you do kind of want that bezel to be stiff so that you don't, you don't accidentally knock it or anything like that. Um, along with the power reserve indicator on the style, if you guys look here in this small little spot over here at the nine o'clock position, this watch also has a date feature. So, um, big, okay, that's one way to describe this watch. And I'm just gonna bring up a, um, like a Mako series. And this is the Mako 2 compared to the Saturation Diver. So you guys can see right there just the size difference of these watches. Um, so dimensions on this watch. This case without the crown, I'm not gonna get on my caliper, guys, just because um, it's a bit, a little bit cumbersome with this big of a watch, but the case on this one is a 45.7 millimeters, that's without the crown. You're looking at a 54 millimeter from lug to lug, you're north to south here. 
What's crazy is you are looking at 16.6 millimeters thick of this 316L stainless case. And um, they've really just kind of overbuilt this case to the point where it doesn't really need a helium re release valve just because of how the strength that is put into this case, kind of like a Marine Master. So, um, like I said, power reserve indicator. It does have power reserve of 40 hours. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the crown functions. And I have to tell you guys, um, I've had a number of dive watches, and this is actually probably one of the nicest uh, crowns I've ever dealt with. So you've got multiple positions here. Your first out and kind of in position, you can actually wind this watch. And uh, I probably can't get it close enough for you guys to hear, but it has a very fine winding system. But what I really love is when you want to, when you want to put this uh, this crown back down, it just it screws down so perfectly and so smooth, which isn't the case for uh, all of the Orient watches I have. So um, you know, definitely a professional diving grade watch. This watch will generally come on a stainless steel band along with the rubber band that you see here on it. Uh, Scott over at the Watches Glore channel went ahead and hung on to the um, stainless band, which is great. But those stainless bands are solid in links. They are a solid link band, and they also have a ratcheting um, ratcheting adjustment clasp on them with a diver's extension. So very cool. So um, these watches, the prices kind of really vary on them. I think that watch uh, that uh, Scott found this watch on eBay, and I don't want to quote the price because I don't remember exactly what he paid, but I know he got a really good deal on this watch. On the Orient website, these watches are, and, and it tends to be the case with any of their watches on their website, they put the MSRP on there, and the MSRP for this watch is $2,495, which I think is... Um, you know, well overpriced. You can find the watches on Amazon, on eBay. A little trickier to find on eBay, but I find that the prices, depending on the dial color, kind of vary anywhere from like, and this is brand new, but anywhere from about $850 up to about $1,300. So you kind of got to do your shopping around. It's not a common unit that's going to pop up on everybody's website where they're selling watches, um, but it is cool. It's a great watch. It's a true... Uh, tool diving watch. This watch is famous by professional divers throughout the world, as well as, well as recreational divers. Know that the uh, the Orient Saturation Diver is no joke. It's a serious uh, piece of kit, guys. So it does have a 22 millimeter lug opening. I for forgot to mention that. You guys can see they do have the um, the Orient logo on this band. This is a really nice rubber band, um, kind of in between your stock SKX and um, what they're offering on your SRP Seiko models nowadays with that softer rubber. It's not quite a silicone rubber, but it's it's nice, it's smooth, it's supple. Let me go ahead and uh, wipe this watch off real quick, guys, and I will show you the case back. It has just an absolutely beautiful case back on here. Uh, I don't want to neglect to show you that. And so here we go. Uh, the engraving on this case back is just spectacular. And this is this is truly engraved. It, 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 it's not an embossing or anything like that. It's done beautifully. It, it lets you know, um, I think it lists the movement number on here. Also lets you know that this is a helium safe diving watch. Um, you know, obviously a solid stainless steel screw down case back for this 16.6 uh, .6 millimeter thick dive watch. As you guys can see here, also has drilled lugs for easy strap changes. But um, yeah, I want to th say thank you to Scott um, out there at Watches Galore in uh, in wonderful Pennsylvania for letting me uh, use this watch to check it out. I mean, on my channel, it's an absolute beautiful piece of work. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy, very proud that Scott let me use it. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys like taking a look at this watch today. Got a lot more coming up this week. As a matter of fact, there's two watches in the mail. Very excited to show you those new pieces. So please stick around, come back to the channel. Probably over the weekend, I'll get those new videos up for you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, um, please do. Please do. You guys have a great one. See ya.